Hey guys, we are live on YouTube. How are you guys doing on Tamiya Tuesday? And Tamiya was supposed to uh, release um, something or news on their new release tomorrow morning at five o'clock. So the clock was counting and I was actually looking at the time and I said, oh man, it's too bad it won't be released in time for uh, Tamiya Tuesday, but it was. So here's a new release, and that's the backdrop I use for today's video. And we'll go into that uh, in a little bit. First of all, let's go say hi to everybody that's in here right now. How are you guys doing? Uh, I was frustrated a lot this morning, and then I found out my parts were in the other box that she's working on for painting my car. So she's bringing them back tomorrow. Had a snafu with missing parts for my super hot shot. I'm like, oh. Well, when you send a box away, you should keep the parts and only send the body away and not the parts. She lives. She lives. She lives near me. My my healthcare worker. So she's bringing well, him back. Don't her. worry about it. <laughs> so uh, we got John Martin with us. How are you doing, John? Not too bad. Just uh, crossing my fingers. The snow and ice isn't as bad as they say it might be. Mm. Oh, I hear it's going to be eight inches of snow after it rains. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a snow day here. Uh, KBRC 13. Good. Hanging out. Cool. AZ Froggy and more. Alive and moving. I want to ask Brad. He already, already talked before his time. Uh, Kurtz like R3. Sorry. Yeah. Hi to you too. Today, Kurt is going to be doing sign language. So, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Guru. Hang in there. Cool. Uh, Dennis. Dig a day. I got uh, Rex RC actually sent me a whole bunch of pictures today uh, for this. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I did find the website, which is cool. And it had all the pictures on it also for to me a Tuesday for so we're going to get right on that and then we'll talk about some of the Tamaya stuff and look at some of the things that they uh, actually have. Um, in the chat we have Curtis D. Whitsley RC, Unknown RC. Um, did anybody know who Unknown RC is? He's unknown to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's unknown. Middle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Bob's RC and stuff. We'll see RC radioactive scale. Uh, blind guy RC, how are you doing? Uh, Grim Reaper, how are you doing, Grim Reaper? And Guru's in the chat also. He's a busy man. Uh, I did hear my get my new air gun today. Uh, my air gun, my uh, uh airbrush. airbrush. Uh, I tried painting. I thought I had it liquid enough. It seems liquid enough. But for some odd reason, it jammed up on me, the new one again. So I guess my paint is just too thick. So I, I am going to have to redo a whole new batch uh, and maybe go 50-50, like I've been seeing a lot of people doing on their thing. Uh, I did put the needle at 0.5. The 0.5 needle, so it's the bigger needle or the bigger hole for more spray. So I still have to experiment on that. Hopefully I'll get it because I'm getting frustrated and I hate it so far because I can't get it. I just got a new compressor last night. That's actually got a tank on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mine too. You got a tank, yep. but the compressor is not the issue. I cranked it all the way up to 60 and it's still not coming out. Like you're pressing oh. on, the only thing that's coming out is air. Just frustrated. Yeah. You know what's interesting about this body and chassis? This I can put I can still put uh, pins here to hold the box uh, panel uh, the the body on, but it also has a latch here, right here. Okay, so what's the latch, latch for? To hold the body down. It helps hold the body down. Okay, and how do you, does it hold the body down? Uh, I haven't run it yet, so I wouldn't know how well it would hold it, but it, it's like. It has a hook that goes above the body and holds it in place. Okay, put it down. Put it down and hook it. You hear that snap? Yeah. 
Okay. Now grab it and shake it. Oh, I don't. I didn't. Uh, I had a body post. I don't have the body post on there. Oh, the front one. You still got to put the front one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I still got to put the front one, but I could still have. Oh, I still could have the pins in here. Yep. But, yeah. uh, but, but this is a third thing that holds it down in the back. Cool. Not cool. a bad idea. What is that? You're strong as hell, bro. It's a uh, it's a holiday buggy. I mean, I showed it on my video. I mean, look how good Adam did on this car. He did a fantastic job on this car. You could have done better if you tried. No, no. His paintwork is far superior than I could ever do. I'm sure if you try. What? Don't sell yourself short. You got to try it, Brad. Uh, Brad, you got to try it. Painting it. Uh, <laughs> It's a good-looking buggy. I mean, altogether, I, I, Frank, I thought you'd find this a good-looking buggy. It's not. It, it is a good-looking buggy. It is a buggy I wouldn't mind having, but I have way too many things I want. It becomes. It's starting to become a need more than a want. So <laughs> I want it, but do I need it? Well, hopefully, uh, one day you'll. This one isn't that expensive. I think it's under one hundred and twenty dollars. It's not that expensive. Cool. That's just catching them in stock. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'll wait till I uh, get it used or something. It's a TTO tube chassis, but it has a old body from the 80s in it. Early oh, they got on the TTO two. Yeah, they got it on the TTO two. Yeah. Not not the TTO two. They got it on the DTO two. I'm sorry, the DTO two. DT. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the DTO two body a chassis. Cool. What's going on, Sean? So let's go back to uh, the Tamayo release page. <coughs> so basically, they do have uh, some semi truck, well, one there. Oh, they do nice. have a nice Bronco that's out, and a tank, and a couple uh, RC cars. Yeah, actually, the semi isn't what's catching my attention on that sure. release. It's the uh, the little fake looking. What is it? It looks like a vanquish almost, but it's got snow tracks. Yeah, we'll go through that one again. Uh, through that one, they do have some small little items that they're coming out with some models, which is kind of cool. But we're not gonna uh, go through Wait that. What? I think I saw a madcap. Oh, look at that! They got another. Look, they got a. They got a, a new Alpine. Yeah, we'll go through that. Oh, they got the Black Edition Avante. A lot of people like the Black Edition Avante. So they have a six by four coming out. Ganya. What the hell is that? Huh? That's basically my, the truck, similar to the truck I have, the six by four. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Or like the man I have. Okay. Look at that. Which, got Look, they got a... Okay, somebody has the audio on. Oh, that was me. My my uh, computer just finally booted. <laughs> so so the, the wheels uh, in the back. Yeah, I, six. I still don't know what you mean, six by four, but it's, it's a, okay. It's got the three axles. But only Six the back two are powered, so that's oh, okay. Six by four. Okay, that's what I was just gonna ask. Yeah, six by four means it's six wheels, but there's four of them that are powered, which is the two wheel. Are uh, the most of the trucks just two wheel drive, not four wheel drive in the back? If, no, all the ones I've got, all four or both rear axles are drive axles. Oh. Yeah, usually the rear are always drive axle, but it's pretty rare. Well, not pretty rare. You'll see a lot of semi trucks like this, the Scania, only have four wheels. They don't have the double at the back. So oh, okay. Nice. I know what you're talking about now. Dooley's in the back. That's correct. So, a couple of nice things that they have. They have uh, very scale items, which is kind of cool. They do have a nice little video. Uh, I'll put this in the chat just for you guys. Some of you, if you guys want to go see it, this is in the live chat, and I'll put it later in the description below. This is the one that actually caught my eye. It does um, look very nice. 
Yeah, the scale of it is. Bronco from yeah, them. yeah, and I watched a video, and let me tell you, the uh, the way they've done the lighting, it looks so nice for the the headlights and the tail light. Are they the halo lights? Yes, they are. Is that yeah. a CCO two? Yes, it is a CCO two. So depending on the price, I might have this uh, this year as a gift for a prize uh, for one of the event I'm actually putting it. So well, that'd be I'll cool. Have, I'll have to count and make sure registration is going to pay for it. They did a unless good job I, on the body, didn't they? Unless I find a sponsor. Yes, it did. The body looks very good, very detailed um, and very scale also. So I'm kind of happy with that. It looks like it looks like it came with much better tires too. No, those tires suck. They they're great to, to look at, but <laughs> let me tell you, they are hard as rock. You on the trails, yeah, they'll be good, but on any type of rocks or mud, they're not that good. They're way too stiff. Oh well, the, the tread pattern's different. Yeah, it. Well, I got the same one on mine, so it's yeah. it's not. <clears throat> But uh, they do have a nice video of it, which is kind of cool. It's nice. Uh, I was reading the, the chat somebody wrote. Uh, Daphne. Not oh, on their best. that's one of them stupid heads in there. Yes. So this is basically the um, the. the the quad track tf2 kit the um, <coughs> the tracks they have but this is basically on a different chassis this is on a gf01 chassis which but is they, kind of a comical chassis yeah this to me this it doesn't look right but very short wheelbase way too high uh well I mean, it looks like it'd get over some snow better. <laughs> not, not really. The body's high. That's all. Uh, you you still have the same height. You still have the same height as a TTO two. Just the sure body is very high. Yeah. Uh, hey, Spin Rush, how you doing? We're going over some of the new stuff they're coming out for twenty twenty two. Hey, Jit. There we go. You like the battle tank? The MK3 yeah. full option. My buddy already saw that somewhere <laughs> not long ago as a um, early show deal. Okay. Um, he already pre-ordered it. I bet it was over a thousand dollars. Eleven hundred. Like I said. <laughs> yeah, but the Tamaya tanks are very nice, very nice detail, Ooh. and uh, they're pretty well built, also. Hold on a second. Be right back. Oh, okay. I was going to say, damn, that's mean. This got hey, you know what's also nice about the tanks? They have recoil. They have recoil in the barrels. They show yeah. recoil. My Henlong has recoil, Brad. They, they, some of them don't, actually. Some mm -hmm. of the old Henlongs don't. Mm -hmm. But... Uh... Click here to watch the video. I guess the video is not out yet. I th this uh, boggles my mind. Why do they still have TT01? Why do they keep this friggin' chassis? It's probably one of their oldest on-road chassis, and they still have it. Like I, I do like I do like the Calibra again in black. Mm-hmm. Opal Calibra V6. They did. They came out last year with the yellow one. This is the black one. The black one looks nicer. It does look cleaner. But there again, they have body post. That, that's one thing on the uh, uh, on the Ford Bronco. Like they still have body post. Come on, Spartan up. It's crazy. You wish they had something like they did on this, where you don't need to have. <laughs> you could just have that thing if you wanted to. Yeah, they, but it's it's clips. You just clip it on. Today's technology is there, and people are doing it. So that, here's a year they, master Alpine. Did they do they uh, pre-drill the holes in the in the body? 
Usually they don't. Some of them, oh, okay. some kits they do, some kits they don't. So that's why when they don't, I put magnets. I don't. Buy yeah. Uh, that's what I did with my G five hundred. Um, and again, here they have the body post, which is normal for an M O six. Yeah. But I like the wheels that they got on this. Did the picture come bigger? No. That that's a, uh, that's an Alpine one tag Jaegermeister. That's nice. <laughs> Yes, that's what's written there. You're right, Brad. Good. Rim. And, yeah. and look, at, look at that. It's, it's got gold rims in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like, those are the same wheels that are on the M05 Honda I've got, but I do like that with the chrome lip area. Mm -hmm. That would set that thing off. <laughs> I bet you like that car, don't you, Frank? It looks nice. There's a lot of other kits I'd want to get, like the the Porsche, the special That's anniversary Porsche. The one that gets my attention. Back, the six the six wheel uh, Terrell came back out again. Is it a different another livery again? It's Aren't a limited edition. See this, I wouldn't mind getting because it's very rare, and they're coming out with it again, and you don't see a lot of them. Uh huh. Anybody race these things? Do you know? Um, I'd say they could be. I know here in town there's a um that one shop on the east side of town that took over an old Sears in the mall there. They're doing carpet racing. I'd say they'd have a class where that would fit in because they have other guys that run pan cars and indie style cars. Okay. I wonder if they handle good on the racetrack. I don't know, but I'd love to find out. <laughs> Uh, they do have foam tires, which is kind of cool. Yeah. I've always liked those cars. I still have a die-cast matchbox type of one, the all-blue version of it. I've had that since I was about 10 years old. Okay. That's oh, one look at that. You like that. I like. This one's you not like bad either. Thing? wonder what chassis they got under there. That I love the color on that Mercedes. C11 yeah. kit. Yeah, C11. that's the Mercedes C11. Um, it. I know um, I was watching RC Kicks earlier today, and he was trying to find out what chassis it was on, and he couldn't find out yet either. Mm -hmm. It's probably on a similar chassis as the, the one that Frank did. It's probably the same chassis. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's the uh, F, F103 GT chassis. That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, TRF uh, 420 chassis. That's a Bucks chassis right there. Oh, they're coming back out with a TRF. Uh huh. That, was that good is that is probably a six hundred dollar kit, if not more. Yeah. Yep. The new Schumacher kit's about six and or five nineteen or so, if I remember reading it right. Yeah, you know that, of... that Frank. That Frank has all. Uh, seems like most of the speed goodies. Yeah, yeah a lot lighter. of uh, racers or carpet racers really like this this kit. That's for sure. Oh, we use those in our um, touring car class here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that car is legal. There's a couple guys that have a couple older versions, and they they're still competitive with some of the new ones. Yeah, I would think so. Look at that carbon fiber chassis. I mean, because the ones that they're using are many years older than what a couple other guys are using. There's guys running some of the associated 6.1 and 6.2, and that looks a lot like a 6.1, 6.2 from back then. So they were ahead of the time for that. Like the camera adjustment is just crazy on here with the pin. Like you can actually adjust a lot of things on this car. Yep. Even the belt tension. Yep. It's a good looking uh, chassis, isn't it, Frank? Yep. It's not something I need or want, though, but it is nice. I, I, I did see something amazing. It has hex screws. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably does. <laughs> uh, yes, they, you are right. Hex screws a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's all hex screws. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, coming out, 
Does he have bushings instead of bearings? Oh yeah, uh, I think he comes with full ball bearings. No, no, that's all ball bearing. That's wow. all ball bearing. I'm just, I'm just being a smart ass. I, I bet you. Uh, I, I knew. I told you guys that they were going to come out with more hex drive screws on their kits. Well, a high end race vehicle like that, they better have them. Yeah. <laughs> this one's not uh, bad either. Yes, this is a new one. Also, the uh, M O E R R. It's got more TRF shit on it. Sorry. So these are all the hop-ups for it, which just means that they're going to jack up the price. <laughs> I'm sure they do have perform performance value to them, too. So. Yeah, but it has. <laughs> Heck screws. Heck screws. <laughs> Again, a race chassis. Yeah, but that's not going to be as much as the 420. That's no price wise. No, it's got to be a couple hundred dollars cheaper. Oh, at least yeah. Look at that! Look at that blue with the gold anodized uh, shock bodies with yellow shock uh, coil springs. Uh, where? Where? I don't see black it. collars. Where? I don't like that's too much variation. <laughs> <laughs> too much variation. There, there's there's gold shock uh, bodies. I'm looking for Phillips head, but I can't find them. Oh, yeah, there. No, oh. that's not a Phillips head. I thought it was a Phillips head, but it's not. It's a hex. You sure it's a Camaro? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I don't see a green and yellow. Uh, yeah, but they're charging another $150 just for the screws. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> the XVO2, that is a completely new chassis. Mm hmm. I'd like to see what that chassis looks like. I can't really take a good a good look at it there. Look at that, uh, Brett. What's different yeah. about that chassis compared to the X XV01? That I can tell in that shot, I don't know. Motor is here. It goes back. It's pointed back, and there's a cent center transmission. Okay, so that's that's the main thing because the XV01 is, is one belt mounted motor. With the belt going the length of the oh, this vehicle. is mid-engined. This is mid yeah. mid-motored, mid front mid-motor, oh, yeah, like mid-motor off-road. Looks yeah. like a railway chassis. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least you see a brand new chassis. So motors pointing back here. The motor plate goes to the transmission in the center. The shaft drive. It's and not the belt shaft drive. drive front and rear. It's shaft driven. Yep. Right okay, there. so it's a completely new chassis, Brett. That, given, that could be interesting. It's got a completely new chassis. With full bar bearings. Wonder how much that kit's going to be. It's going to be good. Know, for the like XBO ones were expensive. <laughs> I bet you that's still a little more than them. And it's a pro. Mm. So it's got P, uh, it's got TRF goodies on it. Yeah. I bet you that goes for 450 bucks. Okay. okay, Brad, can you do me a favor? Can you do him a favor and calm down and don't yell anymore? You've been yelling since the start. I know you're excited, but just tone it down just a little bit. God, it looks like it's got rally tires on it, too. It does. Yeah, on this one, yeah. It says rally ready right there in the corner. Oh, does yeah. it? Uh, <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> That's okay. I just saw it, too, so don't feel bad. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm I staring you... at the chassis instead. So was you, I. What do you think of the chassis, uh, Kurt? Think it's cool? Looks all right, yeah. Let's see what it does in color, you know, with the all yeah. the hop ups that's probably on it. And it's got the dirt uh, covers yeah, to stop the, the dirt shields. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I will I say my XV01 handles very well. That has got to do the same thing, Brett. That they, they, they would not. They would never not want it to handle just. They wanted to handle just as good or better. I'm sure that a lot of uh, prog a lot of stuff went into that to make it handle well. They say it comes with Will that two... beetle body fit on it, Tank. No, no. The beetle is a uh, is is an M chassis. This is a okay. Uh, it says it comes with thirty nine T differential gear and one forty T differential gear for adjustment of front and rear wheel drive balance. Okay. <laughs> Was that like an overdrive? Yeah, it looks like you can put the front in overdrive. Hmm. Yeah, it says it next paragraph there. 
So that means you could run the front faster, huh? Yep. Hmm. Better corruption around pull. corners and stuff. Yeah, that'll yeah. help pull around the corner better. At the frame chassis. Cast cast angle, nice. Cover fiber chassis? No. No. It's a tub. New metal parts. I should have better back position for the center left. Up and balance. That looks that, interesting. Yeah, that I like that as well as the elf car. Mm -hmm. Oh, a one, thunder shot. Oh. Job just keeps scrolling. Oh uh, no, I like the thunder shot. People are happy that's coming back out again. Now this is a Sean's favorite. This is Radio Shack. To me, I look at this yes. as Radio Shack. Yeah, that's what I think of this one. Yeah. I know they still have to come out with toy, toy like cars and lower bargain, but just like keeping the uh, CC01 is kind of ridiculous. <coughs> like, look how toy yep. that looks like. There's your Phillips screwdriver. Like, there's air in them shocks, too. That's pretty good. <laughs> no, good. there's oil in that. That's an oil filled damper. No, it's not. No, that's no, no, it's there. not. No. That's friction. That's friction. <laughs> I was high grade, high grade here. And and look, Brad, it's a it's a new one. It's a new re-release. -re and look, old Phillips screws everywhere. A big old nut right there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the hardware store and got the screws and nuts. That's TD two, Brad. Yeah, that's the TD four version with two wheel drive with new body on it, yeah. and slightly different shock. Uh, shock setup it's a little more lay down shocks in the front here yeah yeah they're late they're still cantilever but they're up at a different <clears throat> their their degree of angle of attack is higher yeah they changed it a little bit yep and there's also now a ton of upgrades available for that chassis slipper yeah. clutches all that type of stuff yep. and the battery goes in horizontal instead of vertical yeah i see yeah. that Another another TD two. No, that's a pre-painted body. Okay, so it's just the same car, but with a pre-painted body. Yes. Mary, that Brad, that's a perfect kit for you. Yeah, I still got to put decals on. <laughs> Aw, man, we can't. We can't. I guess we well, got to talk to everybody. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> uh, the CCO. The CCO2 of the, of the, uh, that, that's a, that's a shorter wheelbase than yours, Frank. Yeah. And that's a pre-painted body, a light blue pre-painted. Yeah. And that's a limited edition as well. I was, I, it might even cut, who knows? It might even come with lights for what I know. No, there's no, light the buckets. Bucket, there's no lights in there. Yeah. Got the buckets, but no lights. Yup. There we go. Uh -huh. Super Impreza 2004 TT01 Type E Limited Edition again. Yeah. Type E. I always, I always like this, the look of this car. I always liked the, the rally one. Yeah. Well, they make great rally cars. <laughs> Ex export only. Yeah, that means it's not staying in Japan. It's just coming to us and overseas. Just like they get stuff, <coughs> that, which kind of upsets me. Yeah. The Avante Black Special Reissue Limited Edition. Yeah, that's going to be a $600 chassis. Probably. But people love the Black Edition. I just like the my, tires on it. <laughs> my opinion. Oh, man, that motor is kind of weird the way it is. That's the way it is on the, uh, on the 2011 Avante, the same place. Oh, yeah. yeah. This has more gold accents on it. It's got That's a special motor. Fine. It's a GT tuned. <coughs> it's a GT tuned motor. Twenty-five turn. 
And look at that, the mini edition, the mini, <laughs> the mini gold edition of the SWO. I like that gold one. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. But not for me. No. And, and then they have... Uh, I like that 240. Static <laughs> models. Yeah. That thing's but, nice. Yeah. That's a Ferrari, yeah. Uh... That's not a Ferrari. That's a Datsun 240. Oh, okay. Been on the back. I bet it's 12 scale. What do you think? The model here's a tank, a 148 scale. Man, that's ball. Ah, look at that. It's it's radio controlled. I no, think it's not. No. It's got motors in there. No, those are oh. weights if you read it. Metal oh, chassis weight gives the model a real, real, blah, I can't realistic, 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 heavy feel. I keep oh, forgetting you're on your phone at times, so I no, I forget you can't read all that. <laughs> so, uh, 148 British tank, I think they have that in ready to control that tank. I think so too, yeah. They have that one in ready to control. I know that for sure. Man, that looks like a <clears throat> ugly tank. But I know they, it's a replica of a real tank, but man. Yeah. That was a World that, War II tank, tank, wasn't it? I think so. That would take out a Tiger too. Yeah. They had a big howitzer cannon on it. Uh, yeah, it's not that long, so it won't shoot too far, but it, it should should have a lot of power, that's for sure. Oh, I'm sure it hits like a fist to the to the tiger tank. Yeah. Infantry scout set. One thirty fifth. Is that colors that I just saw? No. One twelfth. They did once, I think, have a ray control car like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we There's go. There's another two forty. That's the same one, Brad. Different that colors. Like, no. no, it's not. No, it's the same color as uh, the one at the main page. Just a different angle. Yep, yep. just different angle. The yep. Fair Lady. Yep. And it's got what they call the Genos, as it says there, which makes it look a little different. That's why it's got a little Ferrari look to it. Hmm. But yeah, that is that's gorgeous. <laughs> that is one I will get. That's just a static model, though. Eh? Yeah. Okay. I bet you he could. I, I bet you he could put it on, make it on a radio control if he wanted to. No. Uh, this is a T-bar roof for the one twenty fourth. The other one was it one twenty fourth? No, one. No, one twelve. That'd be good to build and put on a trailer behind an SCX twenty four. Yeah, and I was thinking the same thing. That'd be fun, actually. <laughs> That'd be a pain to build. The only problem is it's got a passenger and no driver. No. <laughs> yeah, it's got a passenger. <laughs> Where's the driver? <laughs> I he's had to do it. He's how waiting for my mail in there. <laughs> he's, he's waiting for you to show up and drive. <laughs> no, that, that's uh, that's the Japanese one. It's uh left. It's right hand drive. Left hand oh, drive. Is oh, is it? It's no. a mailman's car. I think so. Oh. <laughs> mailman's car. These things are popular in Japan. I, I don't know why. I've seen a couple of videos there, but it's it's weird. They are fast. I'll tell you that. Yeah, they, yeah, the videos are cool to watch. And I've seen some. They actually go through water and things like that. It's just it's nuts. Yeah, that one's actually cool looking. I'd like to see a car, a, a radio control car based on that. On, on the some of those, uh, bodies. Educational. I guess it's kind of a submarine, a little robot. Yeah. Roller skating robot. Okay. Uh, That's cool. <laughs> interesting. I like doing forward. some of those just for fun. It moves forward by opening and closing its legs. Cool. That's the motor for it. Cool. Yeah, it pushes outside the side. It's an educational series. Yeah, they're cool though. One way clutch. Interesting. Oh, that's for uh, so you can do like a robot like this. It opens and it closes. 
And they only yeah. roll one way. Yeah. Mm. Swimming sea otter. <laughs> okay. Robert Ducky, you're the one. Robert Ducky. It's like an otter on its back swimming. Looks like his arms are a toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, with a seashell. You, you need a seashell when you go to the toilet. <laughs> uh, and that's about it for Tamiya um, they did announce from Kyosho that the mid, Optima mid is coming out are you swearing? did I hear you say a swear word on Tamiya Tuesday? <laughs> well we did say Traxxas oh yeah sorry we said Tamaya 20 times. No, I didn't Give no, Chris I didn't that, that little otter. Mind him of all his beavers. Yeah, no, that'll be interesting. They made some changes to it, so it'll be interesting to see how it does. Uh, Spinrush says those good. things are noisy as hell because they're rubbing, rubbing the wheels get squeaky or something. The due date is April 2020 for these things, the mid. Yeah, yeah that top one there is, yeah, it looks good. They've got, it now has a slipper clutch and a belt tensioner provision. What else they have? So there's the car. The Return of the Legend, Optima Mid. That's the one you got, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm just glad that it is coming out now so I can get the wheels to replace the ones on mine that are goobered up. Mm -hmm. I was, was going to say parts car. I wouldn't mind having that one, the new one. It's a nice looking piece. No, I'm, I'm just saying in general, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. second. Uh, those things are noisy as hell. Which things are noisy? He was talking about the little track ones with the wheels on the sides. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it would be cool to see a video on that. That's for sure. I guess you put a battery on it, you turn it on, and it just goes. And it rubs yeah. on the side of the track, and it just keeps going. Yeah, those wheels on the side probably start squeaking after a while. Or... Yeah, it's whoever tune, tunes them better and use proper oil for the get bearings and all that. Yeah. Um, I was on a, on a, I saw a Facebook paid uh, post. And it actually had something I found very funny on it. I can't remember if I saved it on my tablet or on this thing. Oh, I just saw somebody sent me an email, I think. Just want to make sure. Okay, I'm good. Let me try to find that picture. It's a movie that came out. It's about zombie beavers. Mm. And I found it so funny. Yeah. Um, they'll damn you to hell. Uh, Zom beavers. And the guy posted that and he said, this is a stupid movie. I wonder why the hell they made it, but it's funny as hell. Oy so, uh, <laughs> so uh, buddy with his beavers there, he should do something like that. The revenge of the beavers, you know, because he got rid of them or some of them got killed or whatever. Zombie beavers are here. <laughs> That's a good one. RC84 film. I hope you're listening. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, and had to shave some parts down on this. So, Brad, uh, how many kits you got almost done now? I shouldn't have mounted this ES, the uh, receiver now because I can't get to the button too easily. And I use the 3M stuff, and that's strong as hell. Why do you always need to rebind the ESC? You should only have to do it once. This is number six. Oh, okay, six, it's six one, okay. So I yeah, have to I rebind it. It's always better to bind it before you glue it, especially. Yeah, the I, I don't know what I was thinking. I've just been, I've been frustrated. I've been mushy minded because I've been upset from earlier today. Mushy minded. Okay, that's a good word. <laughs> good one. Uh, so, yes. uh, this thing uh, popped in. Uh, okay, I have, well, as far as chassis are concerned, I have uh, three chassis done. There you this go, thing. Thing. I have <laughs> the frog and the blitzer beetle. They're they're done as far as chassis. Uh, that are. looks like uh is that the original? Yep. Yes, hey Sang. Hey, yeah, I could tell by the shock and the color of the chassis. Yep. Nice sixty dollar um find. That's uh that's a steal. And it came with extra parts, it came with the original charger, radio, everything. Wow, Next that's time. Next That's time you come up with a free deal or a uh, $60 deal like that, let us know. Let somebody else know, you know. <laughs> it was your local. <laughs> oh, local. Okay. So, yeah, it popped up. I literally clicked on the thing, what, 10 minutes after he posted the ad. Oh, yeah. So got yeah. in just the right time. Those are all yeah, these. It's worth at least double that. Yeah. At least. And, and like I said, I've got the original it came with the mechanical speed control and all that um the original motor but it's a little goobered up it's a little tight so i'm cleaning that out um but i put a um tvle esc in it and a spectrum receiver just so i can run it yeah those original motors last forever like they're uh, they're like yeah i was in a house that um the guy smokes heavily yeah. So the whole thing smells of smoke still, even though I've cleaned it like four times now. And the motor, you could tell from the smoke and everything getting in there, it gummed it up some. Oh, okay. So that's why I got it soaking. You can always run it, um, hook up to a battery and running it into like rubbing alcohol and it cleans it up. I've got electric um, motor cleaner. Or that. So I had it. My grandfather owned a... Um, electronics manufacturing company back in Connecticut. So had some of that left around. You got the good stuff. Good. Uh, Brad, uh, Spin Rush says binding a receiver is the same as getting married. Make sure you get it right the first time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Cool. Um, anybody else uh, is doing something special uh, this week? Getting anything special? No. Yeah, I was I was I was going to go try to run over my buddy's house and get on his lake, but uh, the foot of the foot plus of snow that we might possibly be getting, I think, may have nixed that idea already. We had forty-five degree temperatures today, so snow was melting. Supposed to rain and sleet, and then it's supposed to snow heavily again. Well, wow. yeah, you can have all that. Well, you're you're lucky you don't live in northern Arizona. You might get it. Oh, <laughs> well, they got hammered pretty good. About a week ago. So, so you can you can say a part of your state can have it too. <laughs> well, yeah, I can drive up to it if I want, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> I, I got These people. School. Go At least ahead. in northern Arizona, they probably know how to to, to, to run in it. Uh, I got the school bus ready for the plow for the Kyosho school bus uh, to go plow tomorrow for the snow. So uh, I want to test it out before changing the tracks. So uh, pushing snow with normal tracks, and then I'll put pushing snow with uh, the metal tracks. It's going to be a heck of a lot better. 
Uh, RC reactivated. Uh, our reactivated is selling is selling most of his RCs. So if anybody's in the Australia area or don't mind paying the shipping, contact uh, RC reactivated. Does he get? He's not getting rid of his Arctic White, is he? I don't know. He just said most of his RC. So whatever most of his RC means, you know as much as I do. I thought he talked to you more. That's why. No, no. Um, Is that what your school bus are going to look like, Frank? <laughs> oh. That's nice. That looks cool. Yeah, you can't see what it says on it, so, which is good. <laughs> no more... Uh, no more, no more, no more snow days, you little shits. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and that's what I want to do with this thing tomorrow is do a little video and, and write that on the video. No more. Well, I won't say you little shits, but <laughs> but basically, it's on tracks and it's got the snowplow in front. <laughs> Sit down, school still in. Maybe I can go and uh, do Sang's uh, driveway with it. Yeah. It's not too That's big, crazy. so it's not bad. That's crazy. That's, that looks amazingly weird, but cool. <laughs> oh. Dirt. Yeah, there's a guy on uh, Facebook right now. Um, he actually bought the, uh, you could buy the STL file of this guy that had a snowblower that's got a motor on it that actually works. And you put that in front of your truck, one temp truck, and it actually has a motor and you just keep blowing snow with it. Actually works pretty good. It's not bad. Single stage or dual stage? Uh, dual. I hate that I always have to reverse with this, reverse everything. Uh, yes, Roy, I do have metal tracks. I just did not install them yet. Uh, I want to try again one more time. I've tried it a couple times in the snow, but I want to try it one more time and actually videotape <coughs> pushing the snow and just having fun with the normal track. And, do, and then I'll do an upgrade video and then I'll do a uh, run video with the metal tracks. And uh, metal tracks are heavy. They're way heavier than the other one. Uh, Jack is saying, yeah, I'm losing a lot of interest. So he looks like he's getting out of the RC stuff. So if anybody's interested, um, contact Jack. Uh, just bubble, uh, Bubbles RC says, I uh, hope this snow and high winds don't make it to your location. It was tough. Thank you. Yeah, I muted him. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, Joe. Hey, Joe. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see chat now because my computer is not getting internet connection. <laughs> now, that's weird. It was working fine and it just shut off on me. And then when it rebooted, I have no internet. Oh, it's yeah. just like me. I, I get down here at nine o'clock to start prepping. And also my monitor is just blinking. It's, and then my computer says, oh, there's a monitor. No, there's no monitor. No, oh, there's a monitor. No, there's no monitor. So it just, kept, it just keeps blinking. It didn't want to lock on. So after waiting and playing and unplugging and trying to get it going, I, I finally just turned it off and got another old monitor and put it there in front. So 
but it's an old monitor. It's still an LCD, but it's an old monitor with very weird resolution. I thought you looked a little older. <laughs> I, uh, it's not the camera. <laughs> it's the monitor. It's just my hair. So uh, um, I might be getting the Porsche, uh, trying to work out a deal with somebody. So uh, I might be getting that. He's got he got a he got two of them. So I might buy one from him uh, and get it. I'm in no rush, so uh, hopefully I'll get it. We'll uh, we'll see. And uh, I did. Uh, I'm going to be building three kits for. Uh, uh, ST uh, STCRC. I'm going to be building three of his kits for him. Uh, he started building it, the BRX1, a GCM chassis. I think it's a C Max or a C Max 2. Uh, and the other one is a Cross RC. So I'm going to be building those and also prepping some 3D printing printed bodies, like sanding it and like prepping it and painting them for him. So two other bodies. So five different stuff for him that I'll be doing. Should be interesting. Those should be fun builds. And hopefully I'll make some videos with those. And no Tamaya. I got to I gotta convince him to do one for Tamaya Tuesday. Got to try to get a, a new kit here. One of the new ones. What new ones would you like, Frank? I don't know. The one we just saw there. Uh, which one would I like to build? Let me try to find it real quick. Oh, the uh, Ford Bronco, the CCO2. That one would be a great build for, for him because he does a lot of trailing. He does a lot of different stuff. So it would be a fun build to actually do that one. I'm surprised uh, I, I see the... Guru shake, uh, shaking his head. Yes. Why do you like that Bronco? You like that Bronco CCO two? Yeah. It's it's a nice one, and and it is very capable. The um, CCO two is a very capable truck, but it's it's a grocery go getter. In other words, or it's a um, not a shelf queen, but almost uh, because yes, you can't go competition crawling with it. But let me tell you, it's going to give uh, people their run for their money because it's it's pretty. Every time I run mine, people are going, oh, wow, that thing is pretty amazing. Like, I didn't think it could go that good. So it just amazes people when you're running with those things. So the higher end mall crawler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, again, this one is very interesting to actually see. Um now, I don't think this is a pre-painted body, no, which is good. And because I would leave it for crawling, I'd probably leave the body pins in there. I probably would not put magnets if I go crawling with it because it might pop off unless I double the magnets. <coughs> That's a Tamiya? Yeah. yeah, it's a new Tamiya that just came. Oh, yeah, you weren't there when we started showing these things. No. Wow. So uh, it's uh, pretty nice. And uh, they did do a nice video with it. Uh, da -da -da -da, there's the, I'll leave it small. So I should not get in trouble for leaving it small, but hopefully I'll be able to see the lights. There's the lights here. Go away. So here it's not a halo, but as soon as you turn off those light, they do. Um, I can't wait for you to go competition with uh, with uh, with it with against uh, with his shorter wheelbase one, uh, okay. Jake. I can't wait for you to go against him with that. <laughs> so it has this that kind of uh, lights up, and then it actually turns off. So it's kind of cool. And in the back, 
see how the tail lights, how nice they look. Kind of like LED, look. like a real car. Yeah. So it has, so it has LEDs that comes with an LED kit. Uh, well, there's LEDs inside. Yes, I'm pretty sure it does come with it. Mine it probably does. With the TLU, whatever, Tamiya it, LED kit. That that's a that's a uh, that's a export only. Color. Is that a silvery blue color? Yeah, it says the light kit is included for the export only, so it should come to with, with it for us. Looks like it's got. Uh, it just must be the lights on the mirrors, but it must be the way they shot it. Yeah, it does yeah. look like a light here on the mirror, right? That's possible. It's yeah, not, you can have, get kids have, to put them in it. Yeah. They would have lights on it in real life on the side of the mirror. Wow, look at the detail of that body. Oh, yeah, it's it's pretty detailed. Uh, I was looking at this video earlier, and it's uh, it's pretty they, good. When they See, license... If it was me, I would do an interior. That would look really nice. Yeah, yeah. That's it does I mean. not come with an interior, but it, it would look good with the interior. Even the where the wipers sit and how they, uh, when the body and the, the windshield starts, it's black and that just like the real one. So, see, I get rid of the body post there, body thing, and I would put magnets. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now it looks like a whitish silver. Yeah, it's probably the video. So uh, that's going to be interesting if it actually has uh, LEDs that go into the to the uh, into the rearview mirrors. That'll be cool. It must be licensed too, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They they don't skimp out on the licensing when they do their cars. Yeah, Grim Reaper says add a micro server for the wipers. Um, Boom Racing, I think, had a, a kit you can buy for that for those. It's kind of cool. I don't know if they still do, but there's like three different companies in the drift world that have stuff like that that you can get too. Yeah, the steering wheel. Yep. Yeah, steering wheel and wipers. They're kind of yep. cool. Watch it crawling with uh, in the rain with the wipers going. That yeah, good. yeah. Mind and, you, crawling, crawling while it's sunny and the wipers going on—that's not good. Unless you've just gone through a mud puddle. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Wash you your rain sensing wipers. Have a rain sensor on the windshield. Yeah, <laughs> I have that in my real car. And it doesn't work well, the rain sensing wiper. Hmm. As Finn Rush says, I would not want to scratch that Bronco. Why not? It's just a RC. It just gives it character. When you scratch those things, it just gives them character. And it's a Ford. It's a Ford. <laughs> and, unless you do like Icon, you, you scrape it up it. all nice and pretty and you put it on the shelf. Yeah, never drive it. Yeah. That's why, he won't get, that's why he won't get together with me because he won't run his cars. Uh, I, I, Icon has been showing some pretty nice rigs, but man, are they ever clean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seen that little thing that I put on there, a guy squirting his tires down there, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Icon, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, a working horn would be cool on an RC. They actually have that. They do. Yeah. The uh, SSO one module. What what is it called again? ESSO ESS one. ESS one. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's a third channel wire that actually you can actually use, and you can actually put a horn. So yeah, uh, you can program it. Yeah. There's also other right. ones like Beer has a sound kit, and a few other companies have them, and they have them with horns on them. And you can download different engine noises from different types of cars. For different ones, yeah. The ESS1, unfortunately, has dropped a lot of the motor sounds they've used. Yeah. The two, I don't know if they've changed and gone back to the more, well, more popular and more common ones again. You know, but, if, if I... You know what? This is how I look at it. If I had one of those sound modules and I wanted it in a 
rally car. I want it to sound like the Audi's rally car. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Dennis, your girlfriend's in the chat. Uh, she's saying hi to you and not hi to anybody else. So, uh, well, Queenie's there. How you doing, Queenie? Queenie. I already, I already said hi to her. Queenie. <laughs> he did. Hey, we're... Yeah, I finally got my internet back on this thing. Oh, yeah? Good. Yay. So, so Kurt, are you so you're interested in getting the XV02? What's that? That rally chassis. Yeah, you got to show um, the rally no. chassis. <laughs> you forgot to show the XV02 to uh, Sang. Well, there's a lot of things we didn't show Sang. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw it. It looks like it's a uh, shaft drive front and yeah. motor. Depends. Depends all on the pricing. Yeah. So, uh, new Scania six by four. Uh, I would like to have one of those. Yeah. This thing. Uh, yeah. That's what I like. Trash. That's what he likes. He likes the ugly stuff. I, I, I don't like it. It's too ugly. It's Trash. I like it. Uh, new tank. Uh, new new That's cool. I like the body. Yeah. Whoa. And you got the Jägermeister. You got the Jägermeister oh, and that Alpha that body. That's kind of but, cool, too. But that's got the, 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 the Jägermeister livery. Yeah. I just want the wheels off it. I want that. Yeah. We actually have this, uh, this F1 car. F, it's an F103. It does not look good to me. No, that was yeah. an idea 1977 or 78. Some, 76. Or 76. 76. 77. Right here, 77. 77 yeah. Okay. So um, they want they thought that would help with the turning. It was kind of it was kind of controversial, like whether it worked better than two wheel steering or not. But the RC four wheel steering actually worked quite well. Okay. Yeah, but it's weird because it's one servo and it has like a, I don't know. It's a it's an interesting setup. Yeah, it's a separate. It's got a split um, shaft for um, yeah. controlling it. Like it nice. actually works. Mm -hmm. That's something I would buy right here. That's Mercedes. Yeah, this you, one. Kurt, you like that Mercedes? Run, yeah. This would probably be good for you for speed run. This yeah. is probably on the same chassis my uh, that I got, which is the F one hundred three GT. Sang likes that car, don't you, Sang? Yeah, I like it. That color is really nice. And then you got the TRFs coming back, the four hundred twenty. Yeah. yeah, but that's only for racing carpet or on road. Yeah. Those and, 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 he got That's the all good and he got the limited edition M08R. M08R. I like the M08 or M chassis because it fits all my the mini bodies on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And there's the XV2. Yeah, that's the pro kit. So it's probably no body and it has um, a few upgrades like the shocks, yeah. the bearings, and some aluminum pop ups on it, probably. And this yeah. one is rally ready. Yeah, it's probably um, probably has rally tires and mm -hmm. and it rides a little bit higher. That's my favorite right there, Thunder Shack. <laughs> that that like this ugly thing here, ugly Radio Shack kind of looking. No, hard. that's this is probably better than the Hot Shot or pedals yeah. better. Um, anyways, it's a very well handled four wheel drive car. He's got a pre uh, regular and pre painted body. I must say the pre-painted body is nice to have for like, it gives you the option if you want to get the pre-painted body kit or one that is clear. Mm -hmm. It's nice because painting, you know, especially during the winter months is not too, too fun. See, Brad needs to get this one because it's pre-painted. Yeah. And there's only one sticker to put. So you should be good. <laughs> the the pre-painted body from Tamiya, they did an amazing job. Like of the ones that I got that are pre-painted, it's it's like professionally done. He, he still wouldn't finish it on time. So, <laughs> so Kurt, <laughs> Kurt wants the Mercedes, the Mercedes uh, pan car. That Avante is nice. The black mm -hmm. edition is very popular. Yeah, like because right now people who has the original or the reissue Avante, they want like a lot for it. Mm -hmm. But look, saying the gold. Gold edition mini uh, mini lunchbox. Yeah, uh, I have that. That's pretty God. cool for indoors. And that's about it. 
Hurts. Hey, RC Mass Master, go to bed. I am go to bed. Sean already did that. Yeah, he might have already did that. Yeah, he might be oh. waking up. No, Sean just went to bed. He left and went oh, to bed. Oh, Sean went to bed? Okay. Yeah. I'm not even watching the chat tonight. What? Um, Who's going to monitor it then? I'm in and out. Our RC Mass Master. He can do it. Okay. I'm looking at it. I don't have a wrench anyway, so. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Come on, robots. Come on, bots. Attack, attack. <laughs> <laughs> if they start doing that, we'll know you're in control. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was there. So, so I'm hoping one day I'll see Kurt buying that uh, for me, uh, the Mercedes car. One day, one day. Depends on the price, right? Yeah. One of these eons. I, I'm sure. I'm sure that's cheaper than a lot of the ones we did see. <laughs> it's an F103, isn't it? It's probably yeah, an F103. Probably, it, it didn't mention. It. So, it depends. Say. Yeah, it probably won't be much. I'd guess probably 200 US dollars. I probably and, and Kurt's going to do a and Kurt's going to do a speed run with it because it's got an aerodynamic body on it. Put a gigantic mm -hmm. motor in it and see if I can destroy it. <laughs> see if you can uh, and your title of your video is Can I reach 100 miles an hour with a Tamaya? Yeah, right. yeah but the quest Australia, for 100. You can make a Tamaya or Tamiya go 100 miles an hour. You the quest yeah. for Tamaya. To me, do it all the time. Well, like Stuart Mack in Australia has gotten one to do 150 something miles an hour already. Yeah, but that's him. I'm talking about Kurt. Kurt has to do it. <laughs> uh, is that a plastic chassis that he's doing it with, or is that all fiberglass? Or, oh. or, uh, I don't. Think... I know. I know that he. I know that he puts a lot of the speed stuff on it. So it's probably a carbon fiber, fiberglass reinforced plastic chassis. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, I just know he also took a Hornet and made it do over 50 miles an hour. It's good. You'll need to have special tires and they have to be balanced. Yeah. And you have to, you know, it's there's very a few light. things. It's very light and it's kind of a carbon fiber plastic fiberglass chassis kind of thing. And you need the spoiler to have that downforce because at 100 miles an hour, if it pick up wind, it's going to be like an umbrella, or it's going to be, um, it's going okay. to just launch up in the air. Big old parachute. downforce. Parachute. Parachute. Yeah. If so I you might have to add well. some weight, and probably uh, some more downforce. I, I've seen him wipe out those cars, and they're not. I, you would think they're so terribly damaged, and they're not, because they're so light. Yeah, they're so light. Like uh, you could probably roll it, you know, flip it ten times, and you just damage the body, but not the chassis. Yeah, yeah. the chassis doesn't usually. Usually, something lets go in the suspension. That's about it, maybe. Yeah, but everything else is good on it. See, so what's up, Ryan? The BBY. I didn't. I did not even run this thing yet outside. I hope you'll do that this summer. What's this thing? Oh, that app. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Uh, do you have a tennis court by you? Nope. I live in the country, buddy. Got yeah, a skate somebody... park close by, though. Baseball diamond. Does that count? Yeah, yeah that's dirt. <laughs> so basically, it's pretty small, very light. Uh, there's only one mono shock here for the rear. And it basically just kind of bends a little bit. Uh, with this, this, this is where it actually bends. And it pivots. It still pivots left and right. So. Later, Mass Master. You see, that design is like from 1982 or so on road. It hasn't changed much. Oh. Except for the material. Material, yeah. But the one shock in the back and maybe a couple springs in the front. It's yep, been like that. Is that? Uh, that's the F-103 GT chassis. 
and that's and, uh, probably what the Mercedes is on. And it's kind of weird uh, the way the suspension is because you've got a, a spring, yep, spring bottom here, yep. and this is how it actually goes up. So the bottom arm stays there, but the top arm, which is the plastic from one side to the other, that's basically your suspension for the front. It's a it's a strut. Yeah, right. I remember this was meant for carpet racing or or on road. It doesn't need much suspension travel. The servo is standing up straight and it's actually sandwiched between uh, two parts and you basically do have to cut the ears off of it so once you do this the servo is basically you can't use it on another car uh, unless you get a, a new top for it but you can see where i actually cut it here sorry for my bad finger Showing, I should be showing this finger instead. <laughs> yeah, well, that's common for a lot of Tamiya on road F one hundred three or whatever. It's the same thing. And the they battery had, is here in, in underneath. They did yeah. have cars like that that has different front suspension set up too. I've seen them. That's a good barbarian. <laughs> and the wall, and it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and it keeps going. And that's a very similar layout, chassis wise, to the. Um, old one I've got over here, that um, Speed Passion LM LM1. And it keeps going, and it keeps going. <laughs> good uh, ball bearing. That's a good ball bearing. What is that, the just rear, rear wheel drive? drive? Yeah, this is rear wheel drive only. Just not for Russ drive. put in the chat for you to check your uh, messages. He put some cool to Maya stuff, you know, for wow. you to share. It's a big deal. Should I just show what he's showing and not worry about uh, um, spotting, uh, looking at it first, making sure he's not showing us anything bad? <coughs> you. No, just show it. Just review the post before <laughs> I show it. Show it. Maybe there. The Mayas. Do it. Do it. Oh. I click here, I should be able to translate to English. You see, Ooh. you know, I, I would uh, like to see that in a, in a 10 or 12 scale radio control car, that body. That would be cool. Yeah, I'll agree with that. <laughs> it's 132nd scale. You guys are whacked out. <laughs> what? <laughs> that reminds me of that guy who does those special vehicles. That's a convertible. I'm with two carts. Look at the gear. Yeah, right. on this thing. <laughs> that looks like it's a two-speed. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that's not an RC car. They have they have some of the nicest bodies for those, and they don't make them into RC cars. Well, buy one and do it. Uh, I believe you can do it. Takes too much plastic. Look like they'd be kind of fun just I'll to mess around there. with, build, and, and go race. If you've seen those things run, they're incredibly fast. <laughs> yeah. They're like yeah, slot they're... cars. They move yeah. like slot cars. And yeah. little tiny Phillips screwdrivers. <laughs> they're cool to watch. I'm sure them guys get them things flinging. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they have ones that are uh, rear wheel drive, and they have four, or they all always four wheel drive, uh, Brett. I don't know, honestly. I've never looked into them that deep to figure out all the drivetrain stuff. Oh, that's nice. There you go. Direct drive. Sunny shuttle. Oh. And Jolly Joker. They, yeah. they do have direct drive, four-wheel drive in those. I've seen drive shafts for them. That mini four-wheel drive. Oh. I just like watching the videos on them. <laughs> never looked into them that much. Oh, yeah. They got some cool ones I wouldn't mind having just to build, put together, and display since there's no tracks around here anywhere. Mm -hmm. they're, it's their take on a slot car system. It, yeah. it's, it's like having a hot wheel on steroids because it's got a motor. You put it down and it just goes and keeps going until the battery goes dead. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, I, I, how fast do you think they're doing? 40 miles an hour, maybe? I have so, no idea. 200. <laughs> Minimum 20. They're double A batteries. Yeah, but those motors are 
are peaking out real, real fast. The batteries are petering out real, real fast. I imagine probably 20 miles an hour or something like that. Seem fast on the board like that. Hmm. Yeah, you got to have the the track form and. Oh yes, and this uh, thing has ball bearing diffs, so there's ball bearings on each side for for the diff. The ball diff. Ball diff. That's it. Not ball bearing. A ball diff. Get the story straight, right, uh, Sang? Uh, yeah, Grim. Ball uh, Grim Reaper. See you later. Uh, <laughs> Bill Critter says, Brad, uh, Brad uh, some guys figured you'd be excited tonight because of the new release. So a lot of people are figuring <clears throat> you're excited. That probably, you want to know something? I'm like always excited when they come out with new releases. And I, what I'm trying to say also, I think that's for the first quarter of the year for them. Oh, these are actually going to be released throughout the year. Oh, I, well, some Hopefully of my tomorrow will get some more info on the release dates. Yeah. I know there's going to be more than what you, they, you saw today coming out. Though. I don't doubt that. But I'm just saying what they're showing here, it did say in another thing I saw that it's going to be, those are going to be released throughout the year. That doesn't mean that's all they're going to have, but just what they're showing at that point, they're going to be released throughout the year, not just the first quarter. But it's just like uh, when they came out with a bunch of cars there. Man, did it ever take them a long time? Like even the track vehicle. Like we were waiting all year for it. And finally near the uh, end of summer, that's when I started seeing people with them. It's like it, it took a, a long time for the tracks to actually make it to America. Well, I, I also think that they probably also want to do a lot of R and D on them before they come out. Oh, the R and D is done with Tamaya. The R and D is done, and it's ready to go by the, when they ship it. Because when they are showing the demo there, the R and D is all done. They're not waiting for any more R and D to ship it out. That's for sure. <laughs> it's just done the slow boat from Japan. Yeah. They actually celebrate their first shipment of a year, actually. Every time they do a shipment every year, beginning the first one that they do of the year, of the new year, they, they celebrate. Yep, they already did that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, AZ Frog is looking for something. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where I put something. I, I do that same posture uh, position every day, like looking in the back here. Where the heck did I put that? Where the heck did I put that? It's in your First other pocket. I don't remember what I was looking for. It's in your other pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you need a couple hey. rock files. Hey, Easy. Here's here's an idea. Come back to your <laughs> chair and sit down. You remember where you put it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's always the way. Or Just or what forget. you're looking for. Yeah. Don't forget what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Even still, you still repeat the process. You come back to your chair and sit down. Oh, shit. That's what I'm going to you know? <laughs> Yeah. But mm -hmm. me, me, when I'm looking for something in the back, I open up a bin and I can't. I'm looking for the thing. All of a sudden, I see something. I go, this is where this was, where I was looking for it last week. And then you forget what you were looking for to start with. Yeah. yeah. But then I put oh, it back thing. and I say, I got to remember where it is. But I don't. Ooh, shiny piece. You know? <laughs> I remembered I needed that for something. Yeah. That's what that is. So uh, the Cross RC, um, you're the Cross RC expert. The GC4, you got to build everything like it's a kit. So, but the guy says the bed in the back was not glued properly. So, I guess I got to unglue everything or try to break it apart to glue it back together. 
So I got to fix something at the back. He says something's wrong <laughs> the, with the back. Oh. <laughs> so hopefully I can fix it. I'll see. Yeah. Now those bodies, you could actually use the, uh, the plaster weld okay. because it's, it's the Durlin machine plastic and they hold together very well. That's what I did my eight, my HC six with. Okay. If he used just a super glue, it should be able to just snap apart. Cool. I'll see when I get it. Uh, he's supposed to get the, all the, all the trucks and all the stuff uh, this weekend. So I should see it this weekend. Yeah, the only thing you don't have to build, but I recommend opening up is the diffs to put grease in them and to check to make sure that they're shimmed properly and the transmission, just break it open, put some grease in it and put it back together. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Do they, uh, because every the transmission motor, it all comes pre-built. So do you actually have to open it up and actually grease it, which you just answered? That was my question. It, it's just an assembly loop. That's all it is. Okay. Cool. Uh, Psycho 13 Garage is in the chat. How are you doing? Dirk. Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Dirk. What's up? Uh, remember, if you do want uh, your link up in the chat, just type shout out in one word, just like Guru did. And uh, <laughs> Nightbot is going to give you a shout out. Just like that. Just like that. Smoke another. Not if I do. <laughs> so radioactive, I forgot to ask, did the 110 body, uh, 110 body, 110 hobby order any of those sand rails recovery uh, Mm. Did he order some for his store? That's what I want to know. Uh, Unknown RC says, always, always grease your diffs. RTR or kit, always put grease in them. Yep. And make sure they are shims, like not too much loose. And don't shim them too tight. It's just like uh, pinion gear. You're supposed to make it just like a pinion gear. Just a little play. Yeah. Rex RC was actually uh, setting his mesh. Uh, and he was saying uh, he had a lot of trouble at the beginning, but now he's got a little trick, which that's what you got to find. You got to find the trick. Either you use a paper or use your eye if you can actually see the mesh. Um, Sound it. The sound, yeah. I go by feel. Same by thing feel. with me. Uh, basically, if you just hold the, the spur and you just turn it, you, you'll feel when it grabs the motor or not, and you'll see it. And, and if it goes right away on the motor, then you're too tight. So you just have to have just a little tiny play on it. It's Where just like having go. a space of paper ticka, between. Ticka, 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 ticka. <laughs> Nothing yet? Okay. Four sets done? Cool. Well, if he doesn't take them, maybe I'll order them when I order more uh, uh, more of the Tank RC. So I'll see this summer there, uh, see how thing goes. I am thinking of doing some events, so I'll be looking at some sponsors, um, like uh, scale scale items, like awesome chainsaws like this. A Muscovana. There's this thing is that's one of the best chainsaws I've ever seen done. Is one of his. This thing a is Sarna. all painted and detailed. It's really cool. You even have the, uh, the cap for the gas and the oil. Too bad the chain doesn't move. Oh come on now. Yeah. Just want everything. Right. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you could go, you could go crazy if you really wanted to, technically. Who says I'm not crazy already? Yeah, really. I, I won't just print that. 
Uh, you print that time? We're not arguing. <laughs> uh, radioactive scale printed that. Oh, okay. Uh, he does. He does very nice prints. Uh, yeah. yeah he does. I got the the compressor is very nice. I got a crate full of oil, a, a gas tank. Um, yeah, some stuff that's going to go in my drifter. Uh, I got some uh, still in the package. Some fire extinguisher to put in the cars. These are very nice also. They're well made. Um, I got a little tiny crate here with uh, all kind of oil and uh, different things. They don't have the label on them, but they're pretty neat. But when they're in the crate there, you don't notice that. and You just keep that in the back of your car. The silver one could be uh, an oil. Could be. And uh, this little uh, snap-on toolbox oh, is very cool. nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah. very nice cool. scale, very nice detail. Uh, and he's got his that's logo in the back. That's what a toolkit looks like at 10 scale. But it looked good in a scale garage. Another thing that looks good in a scale garage or on a campsite, and I'll have this at the campsite, um, generator. is a little generator. So that's Radioactive said. Radioactive said, sounds good anytime. I have 10 saws on hand. Cool. That would be cool if that, if that generator actually worked. There's a little battery in there. <laughs> uh, propane tank. So I wonder, um, see if you have barbecues. Because I do have a tent. So I got the generator. I have this. Now I just need a barbecue to go with this. I was just thinking the same thing, trying to figure out how to make one up. Well, I know that um, there's a bunch of people that actually have them. Uh, oh, man. Oh, wow. I actually had some, I think. Yeah, there you go. And they That's a pro line, I think, eh? Yeah. 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 So uh, I do have a tent, a uh, scale tent that I bring out sometime, or even my Tonka Winnebago. Like, I think I'm just going to pop this in the back of my Tonka Winnebago. Uh, I'm going to try to find a very thin wire so I can fake that it's uh, an extension cord and bring it somewhere to the Winnebago or something and just have this on the ground. So Old wire from a servo. That wire is from the servo, that's true. An old could, servo. Yeah. You could also have some type of light kit that actually turns uh, when you like to pretend they turn it on and then the lights turn on under the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> under the tent. That'd be cool. <laughs> I'm not messing with y'all, man. Uh, no barbecue at this time. Been working on Coleman stoves. Cool. Oh, hot plates. <laughs> Jake asked, uh -huh. how fast does that generator go? 30, 40. Well, it is a 3000. So it is a model EU 3000. So I think the 3000 has to do with the speed. So is it, it's a type of model from Honda. Honda. Yeah, that is the output. It's yes. the KV output. I think it's 3000 watts. 3000 KV, that's it. Cool. So, for some odd reason, I have to go to the washroom real quick. So, I'll lead you guys to chit chat and I'll be right back. Uh, what does Jack say? I'll be uh, back in a tick. I'll, I'll be, be back, back in a tick. tick. You guys keep talking. I'll be back in a tick. Look, Did Guru, you know? would you have something bad to eat last night or something? Man, I don't know. Tore yourself up pretty good, huh? Yeah, dude. I was... Tore it from the floor up. Yeah, all day. <laughs> it tore it from the floor up. <laughs> so I just, I just got to hop in the um, Epsom salt shower. I mean, Epsom salt bath. Felt a little better. 
but I don't know what the hell that was. Hey, John, did you get 45 degree temperatures today? I was inside all day long. It was 43 when I got out. Uh, so probably. A lot of melt. A lot, a lot of melt happened today, I would think. Guru, finish that video. Uh, finish that uh, series, man. It was cool. It had some drones in it. We're all dead. Yeah, I, I did. I yeah. yeah, yeah. I we I, we just finished it yesterday. It's cool with all them drones. <laughs> we have to talk <laughs> about RC. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing how they came coming out the damn truck. No, it was like a bee storm, man. Oh yeah. Shoo, 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 shoo. That was very, I did appreciate that. I always appreciate seeing RCs in movies and stuff. I really liked the, uh, when they put it in Ghostbusters. That was pretty cool. Was it Afterlife? Uh, yeah. If, is that what this one? That's just. Yeah, yeah that's I haven't new seen one. it yet. Yeah. Is it any good? Yeah, it was interesting. I, it looked like the, the little girl. I've seen previews. It looks like the little girl's quite the brain. I don't know what, she, what you mean. Oh, I finally watched... Uh, uh, Spider Man, Venom, the new Venom, the last Venom movie. Appreciate that. <laughs> it was, um, they showed what happened, they showed the upcoming what's happening in Spider Man movie, and then the newest Spider Man movie. They showed that in the end. Uh, here's a question so I wanted to do the P Wagon. Y'all remember the P-Wagon? I saw Kill Bill again this weekend. <laughs> E-Wagon. I, was that a vehicle that she drove? Yeah. Yes. But I you know who you're talking about. about. The, the sex machine. Yeah. The P-Wagon. The P-Wagon. Yeah. You wanted to nice do thing. that? Yeah. That'd be a cool build. Yeah. Sin bin. Sherry Kibler did a body like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot what the vehicle looked like. It's been so long since it I was pink, it. wasn't it? It was yellow. Yellow? And it, and it looked like it ran through a uh, red paint or something. Yeah. Like a red splash or it might have flames on the front. Was it a, was it a van or was and, it a. And pink was what you saw. Or, or pickup. Pickup. Pickup with the. Oh, the P was in the pink. Yeah. Yeah. The P wagon was in the pink. Oh, I think I. Yeah, I think, but I can't, I can see what was written on it, but I can't remember what the vehicle looked like. This is Kill Bill, Bobby White. Those, those were good movies, Kill Bill, one and two. Looking for it right now. But I found myself when I watch movies, if they have an iconic um, vehicle in there, Kind of long to make it into a RC. Find one without a bad name on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you're. I know the name of the vehicle. Yeah, yep. there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Red flames. There you go. Red flames. Yeah. I'm a pretty you decent flame truck. The flames look totally look different on the model than they do on the truck. That's for sure. Yeah, I, I remember this vehicle. That you, but you're gonna have to get a long wheelbase model, uh, uh, RC. Yeah. yeah, like the same. Right. I was gonna say a Sen truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so you need the Chevy body. Oh, yeah, that, that's pretty auto. cool. Yeah. And you'd have to find someone who makes those rims, or get them printed. Uh, I could find those rims. She yeah. didn't even drive that too long, did she? No. Like, man. Didn't she run someone down with it? Uh, I don't remember that. 
I thought she hit someone with it. She purposely ran someone over with it. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Well, she got into a fight with Bill. That's how she killed him. What? She killed Bill? <laughs> no. No. We were talking about that. Uh, someone would like to make a uh, RC out of that vehicle that looks just like it. Okay. You are talking about Bill. Kill Bill. Radioactive says he got he does 3D printing on the side. How many 3D printer do you have again in your basement? <laughs> He's got a dozen or even more, I think. He's got a lot of printers down there. Uh, I got Todd coming over this weekend to help me with mine. I can right. imagine how loud it is when those are all going off. Or oh. see Ohio. Robert, what's up? So he's going to go over this weekend? Come over this weekend, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, 907 Arctic, how are you doing? How's the Real weather over there? He's like oh. six hours behind us or something. Yeah. Must be supper time for him. No, it's middle of the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Six it's hours o'clock here, so it's probably about what five, six o'clock there. Yeah. That's what I said. Supper time, no? Uh, I, th I believe he did. Oh, no, he's not 72, Tank. He's not 72? <laughs> I don't think we have anybody who talks to us who's in her. I just well, feel like it me. at times. Yeah, so do I. I got to finish my scale garage, put it all back together with my LCD screen on it. That used to be fun. What did you make yours out of? Uh, it's a small little uh, Arcos uh, media player that I used to have. That's even before I um, Apple, uh, those iPods, not iPods, the one that played video was there. The MP3s or MP4, whatever. Yeah, the MP3, MP4 players and all that. And then the, they, they, the Apple had the one that actually played video. Right. Uh, yeah, the pod. The thing was pod, wasn't it? Yeah, iPod. I don't think they yeah, make the them iPod. anymore. Yeah. They don't make them anymore. But before the iPod came out, Arcos had this little tiny three and a half inch TV. And it was nice, like, it, and you could play anything on it. Just dump it, uh, an AVI file or uh, any type of file, and it just played it. And that's exactly what I put a piece of Velcro in the back, and I stick that to the wall. It looks like a plasma. It looks like a 42-inch plasma on the wall. <laughs> nice. And you can just play something, put it in a loop, and it just plays. So it's kind of cool. That's cool. And you, you made sound. your scale garage out of what? Uh, last time I just had my wall. It's just my. It was actually on my table, and I just kept all my uh, stuff, um, my benches and all that against the back wall. Okay. Uh, so, but then when I started streaming and things like that, then I had my monitor, so it, it was it was too cumbersome to keep it there, so I removed it. Did that little player produce sound? Yeah, yeah. You had TV. You had the audio. Uh, no, actually, you had to wear headphones. Oh. Uh, but now I actually have this table, but I have another six foot table on that side. Well, it's close to six, but I think it's five foot. It is not a four foot table. Not it is four. not a four foot. Not four foot. <laughs> it is about five foot uh, on that side. And that's where I'm, I'm going to do it again. Are you, trying to, what table? Are, you trying to, are you trying to put a foot in on this extra? <laughs> it, th those tables are like 40, 50 bucks from Walmart. Trying and to get it over the legal limit. Yeah. Didn't, roll, catch roll. Didn't catch him on sale for under 30. You just got to know the right place to go. Okay. Yeah, you hit a place like Ooh, right special. I don't know if you guys have roses. Oh, we do. It's like Silverman's. I don't know if you guys have Silverman's. I don't know what you're talking about. They're I like, heard of Silverman's, yeah. Like if big you, lots? Yeah, but oh, like Harbor lots. Freight, but not as big as Harbor Freight. Oh, okay. There's a roses in Brooklyn, uh, Brook Park by me. Need to check them out. 
Uh, yeah, Harbor for Freight Tuesday, is cool. Tuesday morning. Got the blue light special. Mm -hmm. But a four foot table, special. that's almost a poker table. No, you did No, they got the uh, card tables, then they have a poker <laughs> table. I got like a little three foot table that I take bashing with me and put it in my wagon. Yeah, so you can stop using your tailgate? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the tailgate was what you sit on. Yeah. <laughs> they have tailgates now that actually uh, can be seats. They have things that put them upright and you have seats, actual cushioned seats. Mm -hmm. I think Range Rover does that now. But once I get my garage back together, uh, I want to do a scale scale item for radioactive uh, RC just to show off his scale stuff, what he does and things like that. So, oh, you want to do a video? Yeah, I want to do a video showing the stuff and get the camera a little closer because showing showing the stuff like this on this live, it's not nice. You you really have to see this in the picture or yeah um, yeah in scale with other stuff. Right. Did you paint it? Or he it painted up? it. Everything is ready to go. He he does all the paint. Like there's little buttons on there that are all pre-painted and the sockets. Wow. Everything is done. So it's kind of cool. The, the gas covers uh, open. And yes, Brad, I can open the cover, the the thing, and it is empty, and I can fill it up with gas and turn it on. Just so uh -huh. you know. There's a little that rope on cool. this side. That would be cool. That would be cool. It's got the little red button there. It's it, that's the the electric start. So as soon as I push it, I can actually go on the trail and charge my twelve my two uh, S batteries with this on the trails. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now you just now you just got to get yourself an RC. Uh... Oh shit! I'm trying to think. Tesla. <laughs> to go with it, RC, yeah. <laughs> RC Tesla. Yeah, so you I can get a battery in an RC. <laughs> so I can so put a generator it. up next to it. Yeah, put a generator beside it and a cord going to uh, where it charges up. <laughs> I think they have those at Walmart. No, at Toys R Us, I think we're selling it for a while. Okay. What? Where do you find I'm... one of those at? Yeah. at Toys R Us. Yeah, they have the te Tesla truck. Yeah, <laughs> like a hundred bucks. Yeah, too yeah. bad we don't have Toys R Us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Where you find the Toys R Us? They're they're, they're still, they actually still have them in Canada. Yeah, wow. we still have some in Canada. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Talk about the Charisma models. Sweet. That's sweet. No, we're talking about Toys R Us. <laughs> yes, but the, they, they they remember there's two. Cyber trucks. There's one that they put out that was like a hobby car, and then they have that one two wheel drive. It was, it was a Hot Wheels. Yeah, it's just, both Hot Wheels. They're actually both Hot Wheels. It's yes, toys. Were but, us um, now. I've got to go. I've got a phone call. I've got to take. So I will talk to you guys maybe in a little bit on the after hours, depending on things. All right. All right. All right. Man, it's already eleven thirty nineteen. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to jump out too. Thanks, Tank, for having me. Like See you later, Kurt. Yeah. I'll take care, Kurt. All right, Kurt. Oh, time flies when you're having fun. Toys were us. Yeah, we don't have any of those toys to us anymore. I know. No, they no, shut down know. maybe 10 years ago. They got yeah. rid of them all. Yeah. Well, Toys R Us, I thought it was within the last five or something like that. Yeah, I thought it was last five years they started closing. I know here they did start closing them, and they, they were kind of on liquidation, but all of a sudden, whoop, they, they just stayed open. So I guess somebody bought the Canadian chain and just kept it open. Mm. Yeah, so we used to have all kinds of stuff like that, you know, KB Toys and all that other crap yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, oh, I forgot about KB Toys, yeah. Kitty I, used, I worked at a KB Toys years ago. 
what they have at KB store as toys. What kind of store was that? It was a toy like store. A, like it a toy store. It was a middle. It was a. It was yeah. a miniature mall mall size uh, Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah there was they, they had mid grade stuff. Yeah. They had mid grade stuff. They wasn't the cheapest and it wasn't the most expensive. Oh, Spin Rush says they still have Toys R Us in Japan. Well, they have Walmart still in us. I mean, uh, Kmart still in, uh, in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin Gibbs in the chat. How are you doing? Morning, oh, no, Gibbs. Missed you this morning. let me know when you need the toolbox for the garage i was actually thinking of uh, the other desk that you had also um but anyways send me pictures i guess of what you have and uh, we can definitely talk about that radioactive for the skill garage mine would be one tenth I've already got some stuff from other guys, from a local guy here in Quebec, Montreal, I mean. He made a nice desk. You talking about the guy I bought my car from? Yep. He is a nice guy. He speaks really good English, too. Stéphane Brunet from the LED wheel. So I did do a short video about this a little while ago. This is a tire balancer that he's got. So you actually put your your uh, one your <laughs> wheel on there, and it actually mimics a tire balancer. It's kind of cool, and you can put little tiny screws there or bolts or whatever. Does it spin, do or? Yes, it does spin. Oh, does it? Yeah, this That'd does. That'd be handy if it really works, because for high speed, you'll need that. Yeah, I, I guess you could put a mortar and use it as a real tire balancer or whatever, but uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I actually painted this uh, chrome around it, and I put the two-button chrome uh, with the uh, Molotow chrome pen. So I started that's doing this. Radioactive made that. This one is Steph from the LED wheel. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I also had this. Um, he made this for for me to give out as a gift, as a prize at my event. But I left it in the sun, and the door all warped. That's so the door was was all warped because of the sun, too much sun. So it is a little bit warped. I put it back on the sun. It did straighten out, but it, there's still a warp. So I didn't bother giving it away. Uh, I kept actually, it for me. Actually, has working shelves. Yeah, it's got more shelves in there, and I have a little. Oh, that's cool too. Little little, little vice. vice, little vice, and it actually does work. You can open it and close it. This does <laughs> actually work, and you actually can open it. You might be able to actually hold things in there that you need. <laughs> yeah, and this basically goes on this desk that he he's made. This file is readily available for a lot of people that actually do it. So George, George, yeah. I want to make a scale garage. I got a video game to mark the scale garage. So, so uh, that's all ten scale, huh, Frank? Yep. All ten scale. And it's kind of cool. Like he's got like screws on the bottom. They're uh, uh, just hex screws. Yeah. The for the for the legs. So that's kind of cool. Oh, you got a little space invaders. Yeah, that's nice. I got I got to look for those. They are at myarcade.com. Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, I found it in the. Um, I don't know if you guys have Aldi's. Yeah. The grocery store. Yeah, they have them in Walgreens too. Yeah, the little the little shop little kids out. section. Yeah. No, it's the shop me out is what I call it. Shop me. Everything, yeah. <laughs> shop me. Don't find everything in that all. Shoot yeah, you, better, you better go run out and get a couple more bags of chips and some more hot yeah. cocoa. One, one thing Steph from the LED will also did is a garbage. You know those garbage uh, that you see on the beside of business? The, with the, oh, the garbage dumpsters. Like the dumpsters. Dumpsters. Yeah, dumpsters. Yeah. 
So he did one of those and he, he wrote 50 50 on it. And in the front it's written Ollie's RC park. So I painted those and I put those at the table and uh, every event I do, we sell 50 50 ticket and I put them in there. So it's a good reminder for people when they walk to the table, they see the little box. So it's fun. Let's go to his Instagram and see what it is. He said there's a lot of pictures on his Instagram. So let's go check out radioactive. Clear sky is here, John. What's that? Clear sky is here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been raining since five o'clock here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's supposed, it's supposed to start bad, here around but... four in the morning. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's windy. It's windy. Tomorrow right afternoon, here. we're going to get hail and I mean not hail but sleet and crap supposed to be bad oh, he's got a 60 uh, 1654 followers Cold Lake Alberta YouTube channel yeah well how far is he from you far so he's closer to Jake no. Oh, no. Does he ship to the States, Tank? Yeah, he ships to the States. Uh, he's Sorry. closer to... Um, Lyle. Lyle. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he lived in Ontario. No, he, he, he just uh, said he was in Alberta. Oh, I didn't. Sorry. I was deep in thought about something. Hey, Tank Radioactive said to check his Instagram. He's got a lot of pics of that tool chest. Guess where we are. Alex. Oh, <laughs> is that how I would, I would get in touch with him through his Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Instagram and email. Okay. But see, this is another one that's kind of nice. The cooler, camel cooler. Yeah, that's cool. With, pop. with ice in there. He has the yeah, wrong pop, but it's cold. It's the wrong pop. It needs to be Pepsi. Yes, sir. I, I guess he could do that. But this is cool. He's done little tiny uh, holes in there. He puts a bottle like he can paint them. Yeah, that's a lot of work. He does a lot of work. What are those? Pop, pop bottles. Pop bottles. Oh, the pop bottles. And he makes little ice cubes, too, it looked like, huh? So I guess he did different versions. Must like the paint, like me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these are medic packs. Yeah. Hey, look, he's got Tamiya paints there that he paints it with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the desk that I saw. This is a <clears> nice <throat> one. And so $80 Canadian for all this. For you guys, it's probably $70 or $75. <clears throat> for oh, this. yeah. Uh, working drawers and cabinets. There's a sink. Too bad that doesn't work. That'd be cool. <laughs> Can't have it's everything like working. Paint booth. There's a fridge. I, want, I wonder if the fridge works. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's his paint at the back. I guess he uses to paint these things. Oh, doesn't that come with the? Uh... Oh, okay. That. It's not that part of like the. That. No, it's not part of it. Oh, I thought it's it like looked like it was part too. of it. Looks like he put paintbrushes in there. Ah, Roddy, Roddy, yeah, Roddy small Piper. paintbrushes. Roddy Piper. That was a good movie. Did he make? Did he make that, or did he just buy it somewhere? No, he bought it somewhere. So generator comes in different colors. That's a lot Piper. of generators. Yeah. <coughs> Do you need pallets? <coughs> then he's got these things. Sure. There's all these in RC tank and the tank RC. Those are the one he made for me. That's the one he made for RC athlete. Does the toolbox come in different colors? Like the one you put in the back of your truck? It's just red. No, he should be able to make them in different colors. But then again, then again, it's snap-ons, and snap-ons are pretty it's much red. all red. Yeah. yeah. 
unless you take a different color, then it would be different company, different, different colors. company. Yeah. So these are the generators when they're all apart. So it's a big block like this. Then he paints all these little tiny things and he glues everything together. Wow. Like, you got a lot of patience for to do this. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. He because he enjoys it. He does it because of the love of it. Yeah. I completely agree. And I think that's pretty much it for oh, the... Yeah, 99 Sweet. There's a chainsaw. The yellow one is usually diesel. Right. The white one is water, I think, or the, no, the red gas. one is usually gas. Red one's gas. Usually yeah. blue is water. Blue is water, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And there he is. So it looks check like him out. he got a new Jeep. Yeah, Jeep Gladiator. He got that battleship gray looking color. Keep going down, you'll get to the tool chest. Oh, there's more at the bottom. Let me go to the bottom then. <clears throat> Too bad it doesn't live closer. I could get some stuff. Oh yeah, I see the propane tank. The, the white one I showed. But he's got a lot of color filaments that he can do. It's kind of cool. What's it? Is it resin? PLA? PLA plus? Nylon? You're asking me? ABS, ABS plastic. I want to know what plastics he's using. Yeah, just uh, you asked a question. He's probably going to answer in the chat. I don't know. He heard you, uh, and I'm not going to repeat the question because it would be just repeating. So there's all the different color he uses, but here's a uh, very scale gas tank. Sweet. Because that was his first version of uh, it. Uh, trails. His first version of it that he was making. Oh, this is neat. Oh, yeah. Air guns. Lab grain with Ryobi. There you go. Little cable like this, and then that goes on to that. That's. Yeah, that's cool. Probably what? <laughs> fuel tube? Yeah. I, I like the plugs on the side here. Like yeah. these are a nice add-on. Does he have a compressor? Yeah, this actually works, Brad. You connect the air to it, and actually, it actually works on there. <laughs> no, the it truck. doesn't. Does he actually have a compressor that, that he molds? I don't know, Brad. I like the wall. The wall is cool. Yeah, the brick. Yeah. He sat there and painted all of that. Whoa. Yeah. Patience. He's got lots of it. There's the air compressor. Uh, there's true the, value. There's, there's a compressor. the air compressor. And it's actually connected, just like I told you. It's got the valve. Uh, you, need, you need to make a garage like that, Frank. Yeah, that's nice. Frank wants to make a, a scale garage like that. That's nah, similar. That's cool. Did he, did he print the, the brick wall? I don't know. Did you print a brick wall? Uh, for your question, he says uh, PLA and PLA plus that he uses. All right, because Adam Adam uses biodegradable in case you lose it on the trail. That's cool. That's lit. That's what's up. Adam has ABS plastic and resin and both PLAs. 
Oh, no. He has also two machines. So there's the blue one, blue, red, and yellow for different gas and water. That's the 24 scale. Yeah, that's 24 scale. Wow. Can you imagine how that'd be like, oh, oh. <laughs> looking at it real close to your eye with the 124 scale. But having a compressor like this would be a good idea also. He said the scale garage is 100% 3D printed. Oh, oh so even, even the bricks. So even the bricks. And the floor. And the floor. Hmm. Get you know, be cool if he, you know, it'd be cool if he did one of those pebble stoned ones, those floors that are made out of uh, like rock or little pebbles. That'd be cool. Sure. That. Look at that. The scale scale monitor, a scale laptop, uh, a keyboard. Yeah. A scale almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's nice, man. You even got the one scale to one. printer. Right. One to one scale. <laughs> right. One to one. <laughs> there's an early version of my chainsaw this one doesn't look as scale as, as nice as mine mine looks way cleaner than what this one is it's not oh, that's 124 ain't it it might be yeah maybe that's why it's a little yeah there's a lift <laughs> the tool carts. Sweet. I was just looking at one of those Bendex lifts from RC four wheel drive, and they're over two hundred dollars now. Them lifts. Yeah. yeah, they went up a lot. Oh, that one for eighty dollars that we saw earlier was that. 10th scale or 124th scale? That's my question to you. I... Yeah. Because basically mine needs to be 10th uh, scale. Everything needs to be 10th scale, but this this garage is 124th scale. Buckets. Wow. Take care, Nick. Oh, there's the tiles. Whoa, no way. The, they're actually tiles... 3D printed tiles that he actually glued on the ground. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, now now Keith really wants a 3D printer. <laughs> That's crazy. Chainsaw case. Red is one temp scale, the blue is one twenty-four. The red is one tenth. Cool. I like the skull. Yeah. Was Dirk. Dirk probably liked the skull too. Dirk. I'll see you. I'll see you, Tony. Cool. So let's do the round table to start saying our goodbyes. Uh, KBRC 13, go ahead. Uh, thanks for inviting me, Tank. And it was cool looking at that scale stuff. Cool. See you Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Uh, thanks as always. Uh, uh, hopefully, our weather won't be bad too much longer. <laughs> Goodbye. Cool. Thank you, uh, Sang. Uh, it's good to be here. Good to see everyone. I'll uh, see everyone on Thursday. Cool. Um, John Martin. Thanks for having me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And uh, let's hope and pray everybody stays safe with the weather out there. Yeah. Dennis? Thanks for the invite, Tank. It's always nice to be on the panel. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up now, make sure you hit it before you leave. Cool. Thank you. Uh, keep the best for the last guru. Uh, thank you for having me. See everyone tomorrow on what up Wednesdays and Thursday back home here. Cool. And you're on tomorrow, right? Around 8 30, 8, 8 30. Yes, cool. sir. Check out Guru's uh live tomorrow. And what do you call it again? What up Wednesdays? What up Wednesdays, yeah. Cool. 
<clears throat> Thank guys. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight for uh, Tamaya Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you on Thursday on this, um, the Tank RC and uh, Guru on Wednesday. And who's on Guru Friday? Who's on Friday? John's on. on Friday. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Then and there's guys on Saturday. JMHRC. JMHRC. Basher boy. And Basher boy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Sunday is Kurt. Yep. JMA is Kurt. Saturday. Sunday is Kurt. Cool. But that's me and Trail Crawler on Wednesdays. Uh, tomorrow it's Trail Crawler with you. Yes. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you very much. And uh, till then, go charge up some batteries and go out there and have some fun and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Right, Brad? Yeah, well, I don't want to break things. <laughs> break it. And you're not skate park. Skate park. When yep. are you going to go with your Tamayas at the skate park? Never. Come on. Well, we're going to we're gonna have to fix that problem. Yeah. No. You bring him to the skate park. Make sure he's got an RC in his hand. His RC, not mine. <laughs> What's that saying? Say it again.